Hi everyone, this is Matt, welcome back to my channel. Today I will really quickly show you how to create images with ChatGPT for free. So this is a free version of ChatGPT, I am just copying and pasting my prompt. And the point here is that the prompt is in the description down below, so you can qu quickly copy and paste it yourself. Now the point is that you need to have that image description here, so that's the only part that you need to change yourself. So the image I want is Rafiki holding baby Mario in both hands. So Rafiki from the Lion King, of course. So Rafiki's arms are extended, we are on top of Pride Rock and all the other animals on the ground below. So I'm sure you can quickly, you know, figure out which scene from the Lion King I'm talking about. And now I want a summary and I want a link to that image. So this is the summary that I've got from ChatGPT. The reason why I want the summary is because I want to make sure that ChatGPT understood what I want. So the image features Rafiki, Manju, yes, it was a Manju, joyfully holding baby Mario high above his head, with both hands on top of Pride Rock. Below, all the animals are looking up at them, witnessing the moment. Perfect. That's exactly what I mean. And the prompt. The prompt is missing for some reason, so there's a little bit of troubleshooting. Please give me the down, the markdown. Okay, and there's a markdown now. For some reason, it just didn't give it to me straight away. Not sure why. So I'm gonna copy this and open this in a new tab. And there you go. So this is clearly Rafiki, this is Baby Mario, and there are some animals, and this is supposed to be the Pride Rock. I really like this. And of course, you can play with this further. So for example, There you go. Mario is a baby after all. So let's give him an appy. Let's see whether we can make this happen. Boom. Nice. This is clearly still Mario. He is wearing an appy. And it's a very similar image. But one thing to note is that things have changed a little bit, right? So it's not exactly the same image. So I would always suggest to keep saving these images or keep opening new tabs. But this is how it works. And what makes all of this possible is that I'm using here, maybe some of you notice, Polynations AI. So this is Polynations AI, and this is actually open source, and you could be using this straight away. So if you scroll down here, you click Edit, and you can just type in your prompt here. So let me just copy the image description quickly. Okay, and you hit pollinate. There you go. So this is, you know, this is almost what you want, but not quite. And the beauty of using ChatGPT for this job is that you have full control. You know exactly what ChatGPT understood. And well, here, you, I don't really know what pollination AI understood. So it actually gave me a crossbreed between Rafiki and Mario, I guess, and that's, that's Rafiki there. But then again, the positive side here is that I can just hit Polynate straight away again, and it will immediately create the next image and the next image. So you can, there you go. So actually that is much closer to what we wanted. And then again, Polynate. So there are advantages and disadvantages of both, and I would definitely, um, check both, but either way, it's all for free. Polynations is an open source website, so I'll include the link down below, so you can use it as much as you want to generate images always for free. And that's all for today. Cheers.